Hello people, my name is Jeannie and of course I run the Smooth Drive Time Show between 4 and 8. We're expecting the lovely Angela Kijo, she's going to be here, interview with regards to Love Music, Love Life, Luxury Concert. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Can I get a hug? Come in here and get it. Come on. Ooh. From my sister, I, I take the hug. I take it. I love you. I haven't had a hug well, like that welcome, in a million welcome, years. Welcome. It feels good. Jennifer. Squeezing yes. good. I like it. You're welcome. Oh, Looking God. forward to oh, Saturday. You better oh, dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, this is my first time in Lagos. I mean, are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> first time playing in Lagos. Really? I left in 93. Last time I was here, I was 13 years old. Wow. You were 13 years old? Yeah. Hey. My father was too afraid for my mom to take me here because every time I come to Lagos, I don't want to go home to go back to school. This is my gang. Keep right here. Hey, I'm oh, hey, man. Bowling. Excuse me, oh, comrade. Oh, 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 oh. I want to eat by you. Ah, I heard you already. So good. I'm so happy. 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 I'm so how are you doing, madam? I'm happy to be here. I'm oh. really, really happy to be in Lagos. What would what would you say is the, the thing that the one thing that's actually made you dive into music? Well, I always sing as long as I can recall. I started singing when I was six years old with my mom's theater group. My mom started the first theater group that existed in West Africa at that time for uh, for three years, and she self-financed that. And she used—that's how I, I know how to come to Nigeria because she used to come here and buy the fabrics and sell them and so. in her store <laughs> and take the proceeds instead of investing in the business. We put it in theater. So I started singing with my mother. She just pushed me on, pushed me on, on stage when I was six years old, and from then. I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you know, I mean, there, there, there are loads of fans of yours out there. We're going to be taking a few phone calls. People want to ask you questions and stuff like that. But, I mean, I've been to your music over the over the years. And there's this, I, I said, this lady has an affinity for the Yoruba language. <laughs> and, when, and when we were talking of, and you go, oh, my family rules are insane. And the way you even actually pronounce it, I, do, I almost fell off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Give, give Lagos the scoop about I mean about your roots. Well, I have it. My, my auntie, if she's listening, auntie talk with Uncle Yin La I will call her later because I just went directly from the airport here, um, and I haven't been back. Um, last time I see auntie talk was when my father passed away in 2008, okay. but we didn't have time really to catch up because it was not the moment for that. Um, my parents, my my mom told me that the family is from Isaiah because. When my my um, my grand my my grandfather's great 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 father came back from Brazil as a slave descendant, they yeah. find the roots back in this yeah. And from my mother's mother's side, they have always been from from Nigeria. So our family in Abeokuta, it's it's. I mean, it's it's big. That, that's that's where it's I'm just, from as well. So maybe there might be some kind of like. Our, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> everywhere. I mean, Lagos. I mean, I have cousins I haven't seen in a million years that I miss a lot, and um, I have a hectic life. I mean, my own daughter just told me on the phone yesterday, okay, when are you coming back home? And I said, <laughs> not before November to 20th. And she goes, don't forget you have a daughter, though. I said, I don't, oh, well. <laughs> I can't forget that. But that's just, uh, I love to sing, I love, I love to tour. I love to bring Africa to the world and show uh, people the beauty of Africa, not the misery that people are very content about seeing and talking about. Africa is not about that because I grew up in a country that is poor, but people were 
very happy the women of Africa are the backbone of this continent and they are beautiful so I want the world to see that most most definitely Angelic most definitely anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much indeed we've had Angela Kijo in the house and she's gonna be on the Casbah tomorrow uh, on the, that, that's the show of course where we play a lot of world music so Fisayo and Dami uh, will have a bit of Angeli tomorrow and she's gonna have a bit of both of them <laughs> as well anyway you have yourself a great great time and we will be back with more <laughs> oh, do a call, you do me. Oh, do you tell me one call? Listen to the program. That was yeah, really we're good. listening. Ah! <laughs> I'm, you. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, we get here. <laughs>